Oh my god, I feel like I'm messing up. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh my god. I don't know what to do with the... This is crazy. Oh my god. Hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new here my name is Mufida and I'd like it if you click down below to subscribe to my channel so today we are going to be trying another exciting trend which is underpainting and I'm doing it in collaboration with another Ghanaian youtuber called Terry Berry I would leave her name right here so you guys can go ahead and check her video out I'll also put a link down in my description box where you can go ahead and click and watch after watching this video she's also going to be trying the same trend i hope you guys enjoy this one because i'm a creature of habit and basically if you didn't know what underpainting was it's basically doing your contour and highlight routine on your face before going ahead to apply foundation it's been trending for a while now and i've always wanted to try it but i am a creature of habit and i really don't like stepping out of my comfort zone basically because if something works for me why the hell should i switch it up Anyways, if you want to see how this video goes down, carry on watching and let's just get right into it. So I'm going to start off with priming my skin with the um, Too Faced um, Hangover Replenishing Primer. I'm going to just apply that onto my face. I really, really love how this primer feels on my skin. It is so, 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 so bomb. So like I was saying earlier, this has been a trend for a while now and I've always wanted to try it out. So it basically includes um, going on to contour and highlight your face before applying your foundation. And usually people apply liquid blush. I do not own any liquid blush at this point in time. So I am going to improvise. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to contour my face first. I'm going in with the Black Opal um, Stick Foundation, which I always use. And it's in the shade Suede Mocha. So I'm going to go ahead and contour my face. Yeah, so this is what people would usually do. And I'm going to go ahead and apply my concealer, which is from the Juvia's Place. I am Magic Velvet line. Um, and I'm using the concealer shade in the shade number 13. So I'm going to go ahead and um, apply it under my eyes. This is where I would usually highlight. I'm also going to be applying it on my mustache area. I would strongly advise that if you're going to be doing underpainting, you don't use products that are like mattifying or quick drying because it's going to take a minute to blend out. So I would suggest using products that are like slow drying products so that you know you can get the chance to uh, manipulate and blend everything out on your face. Also going to be applying that on my forehead. And then my chin as well. I'm gonna be also going in with the Maybelline Adri Wine Concealer in the shade Sand Sable. Just for like an extra boost. yeah hmm now that this is complete now i'm going in with my lipstick in the shade cherry blossom this is the lip lacquer i said that earlier i'm just going to be applying just a little bit on my the apples of my cheeks i really don't want to go crazy with this stuff i'm low-key scared <laughs> I hope this works out because like I'm afraid I'm someone who would do one thing at a time I wouldn't actually apply everything onto my face like this because it's just, it's just crazy crazy I'm scared I'm afraid 
but let's do this hopefully it works out <laughs> now the tricky part the blending part so what I'm going to do now is to blend out my contour first I'm going to blend it out with a contour brush from Evita Joseph the trick is using smaller brushes I believe I haven't tried this before but definitely looks like using smaller brushes is definitely going to work out because if you use a big brush you're going to end up mixing everything on your face so just watch me blend this is definitely really tricky you have to like be careful so what I'm going to do now is to blend out um, the concealer under my eyes I'm going in with another small brush this is the cream contour brush from Evita Joseph gonna go ahead and blend what is on my forehead now for what is on my nose I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush I'm trying to find a smaller brush okay I'm gonna go in with this one from Real Techniques. It is the Deluxe Crease Brush. So I'm just going to go ahead and blend out what's on my nose. I'm going to start blending out what's under my eyes with the same brush. Oh my god this definitely requires precision I definitely feel like I'm messing this up Oh my god, I feel like I'm messing up. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh my god. I don't know what to do with the blush part. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and like just start blending it out upwards. I definitely look crazy. <laughs> Please don't try this at home. This is crazy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a beauty blender and like just blend the area around my mouth. And then my nose and my forehead. This is crazy. This is so crazy. How do people do this? Oh my god. Oh, wow. Okay, so I'm just blending out my cheekbones, like the blush. Okay. I'm turning this side there's no product here I'm going to blend under my eyes so oh damn it this is what I was afraid of okay I fixed it I 
okay so i'm gonna go over and blend out the contour on my forehead with the butt of the beauty blender and then over here as well this is so crazy how do people do this this is crazy this is crazy this is crazy i have no words i have no words i look crazy i know i do you don't have to tell me i'm gonna go back in with this stuff the contour stuff i mean the contour brush i actually didn't go in with any extra product so i'm gonna go back in and um contour my nose because i didn't do that earlier i'm going in with the same contour product which is the black opal stick foundation it's gonna start under my brow and bring it downwards Just gonna go back in with a butt of the beauty blender just to blend my entire face regardless of the fact that I look extremely crazy I feel like this is coming together I think I don't know why people do this honestly this is so much work anyways for foundation i'm gonna be going in with uh, juvia's place i am magic velvet matte foundation um i usually go in with a little bit more but i'm gonna go in with just this amount of foundation one um plus of this routine is that you end up using just a little less foundation so yeah i am going to use this amount of foundation as compared to how much foundation i would have used earlier so i'm just going to go ahead and stamp that over here where i applied little to no product at all i'm going to be focusing most of the foundation there because i need coverage over there and i'm gonna go over my cheekbones my mustache area I'm also gonna go over my forehead I'm not going under my eyes per se because that is like super highlight highlighted and I don't want to lose the highlights over there so I'm just gonna focus right around this area I think my face looks okay for the most part I think what do you guys think let me know in the comment section down below so i'm just gonna go ahead and blend out under my eyes for the last time you guys know that i usually do this right before i go in and set my under eyes i'm going to go ahead and set my under eyes with the laura mercier translucent powder and the shade translucent i'm just going to push it under my eye Let's go ahead and set the area around my mouth as well as my chin. And I'm going to set my the bridge of my nose as well as my forehead. So I'm just setting this side just with a little bit of powder. I love how this looks. This looks nice. 
so i'm going to go ahead and go off camera and do my eyebrows i don't know if i might film my eye makeup but maybe i'll just film it for you guys to see how i do it because a lot of you guys like it when i do my eye makeup on camera but i'm going to do my brows off camera and i'm gonna be right back to continue this craziness <laughs> okay guys my face is coming together nicely so i'm going to go ahead and you know bake under my eyes because i'm going to be doing my eye makeup i plan on doing a lot of color i'm going in with the same laura mercier translucent powder that i used to set my um, concealer I'm also going to do the reverse contour. I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty setting powder in the shade Honey. Um, I like this one because it's quite close to my skin tone. So I'm just going to start from here. I'm also going to do the same for this side. So yeah. I'm going to jump straight into the eye makeup. I'm not going to talk through it, but I'm going to film it for you guys just because some of you might want to see it. So yeah, let's just get into the eye makeup. Okay guys, now the eye makeup is done. I'm going to go ahead and you know dust off the excess powder under my eyes. First of all, I have to dust off any fallout. And then I'm just going to dust this. And then also I'm going to blend this into my skin. Now I'm going to go ahead and go all over my face with my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in the shade um, in the shade Deep. Just going to blend everything into my skin. For bronzer, I'm gonna go in with my um, CoverGirl Full Cov um, Full Spectrum Bronzer in the shade Ebony.
I'm gonna go ahead and bronze my nose as well with the same bronzer. For blush, I'm going in with my Kekai blush palette and I'm going in with the shade Sober. Nope. I'm going to go in with the shade Lady because there's already enough blush peeking through. So I'm going in with a subtle blush. Just to enhance what I already put there. I'm just putting some blush on my nose as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and set my face with the Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray. While I wait for the my face to dry, I'm going to apply some mascara. For my lips, I'm going to line it with a brown liner from Davis Cosmetics. I'm gonna go in with the Juvia's Place, um, uh, the Nude Chocolate um, Velvet, Velvety Matte Lipstick in the shade Lady. This is what it looks like. I'm just going to put that at the center of my lip. Actually smells like caramel, like chocolate. <sighs> smells really nice. Pretty Nude. I'm gonna go in with the Hydra Balm Lip Gloss um, from Revolution Makeup. Just going to put that all over my lip. For highlighter, I'm going to go in with the Kekai Gleam Palette. I'm going to be applying that onto... I'm going in with the shade um, Hand Clap. I'm just going to put that on the center, like the bridge of my nose, the tip of my nose, my cupid's bow, and also my brow bone. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply that onto my cheekbones. Okay guys, now this sums up the entire makeup. I don't know if I should call it a routine or a tutorial. This was definitely not a tutorial. And it was crazy, it was a learning curve, like, I am a creature of habit like I said earlier and it's quite difficult for me to switch something that works for me but this didn't turn out bad but you just need to know how to blend everything out I guess and I would think that you go in with everything one step at a time if you watch Instagram usually Instagram tutorials everybody applies everything on their face and then they do this blending thing that is definitely just for Instagram and not for real life because if you're going to do that and you're like a beginner you're going to mess this up so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video it was definitely fun i love the eye makeup i wanted to try something blue because i haven't really done that on this channel so definitely um don't forget to check out terry berry's channel her video uh, the link to her video is going to be down below in the description box thank you so much for hanging out with me today i'll see you guys in my next one thank you again bye guys